A brief recognition ceremony was held right after the Founders Day program today for a few people who worked hard enough on this campus for many years. These special people are currently retired, but are back to be recognized for having their buildings named after them. As the short ceremony ended, everyone made their way to the first ribbon cutting of Charles Bill. Second ribbon cutting of Robert is strong. <laughs> and lastly, the ribbon cutting of Dr. Shirley Hopkins. And cut. Sadly, I wasn't able to speak with two of these special people today, but I was able to catch up with Dr. Hopkins to see how she felt about this ceremony. I'm humbled by this honor. Um, I worked many years on this campus, as a matter of fact. Hoping that you are part of it. I'm the person who's responsible for that thing and the program being me and the library and the place called home. She also tells me what was rewarding to her about the Utica campus. But the most rewarding thing for me was seeing our students go on to professional careers from the programs that we developed. Uh, particularly um, for me, as I moved into the 21st century, and we began to introduce students and ourselves to the world of technology, to computers, and all of the other things that we could accomplish uh, through digitizing and what a great day to be noted for something you worked hard for for many years. Tracy Gray, reporting for WHUC News 7.